got a dog, got an eight-year-old black Labrador retriever named Louie uh, that drinks out of the toilet. <laughs> Some people think that's gross, but I finally figured it out. As far as Louie's concerned, every time I go into the bathroom and shut the door behind me, he probably thinks I'm just having a drink without him, right? <laughs> Think like a dog. <laughs> teaching him Spanish, teaching Louis Spanish. Why can't my dog speak Spanish? There's dogs all over the world speaking Spanish, right? It's not rough, rough in Mexico. You know that, right? It's like guac wow, guac wow, or something. I'm close. And in France, it's aif, aif. O U F, O U F. Google it. And in China, it's wang wang, wang wang. W-A-N-G, W-A-N-G. You're gonna go home and Google. And some words he gets better than others. Like in English, I'll go, no, no. And then in Spanish, I'll go, no, no. I put some Latino machismo behind it. Because I think he's starting to speak the language. Because when I got him as a puppy, he'd be like, roof, roof. And now he goes, roof, roof. Rolls his R's very well. About two thirds of you are on board with that. Uh, you're gonna really hate this. I sing him songs when I discipline him. It's a crazy LA thing. I read a book. You're supposed to discipline your pets with song. It could be any genre. So I chose show tunes. <clears throat> yeah. So when like he runs away or something, I turn into Riff from West Side Story. And I look him in the eye and I go, when you're a pet, you're a pet all the way from your first bowl of kibble till your last dying day. When you're a pet, don't you be such a hog. You've got others around you. You're a family dog. You're never alone. You're never disconnected at home with your bone. When mailmen are expected, we're protected. Then you are set with a capital P that you'll never forget till you're chased up a tree. When you're a pet, you stay a pet.